everyone, Grammy Deb here again, and I'm going to read another book here tonight. Um, I've been showing my videos to some friends of mine and to my librarian, which I've been talking to you about. And I wanted to share with you all one of the reasons why um, I've enjoyed doing this so much, and it seems to be getting a good response from my grandkids. So if you're someone new that's watching it and just wanted to uh, remind you why I do this. I'm um, going to show you all just a little something here. I have my tablet, which I also use to look up the different books that I want to read and, and what I think I would like to read to you. But I wanted to show you here on my tablet one of the reasons, or the big reason, why I've decided to, to do these books in these videos. And it was because of my grandkids and they uh, seemed to really enjoy whenever I would read to them when I was back in Pennsylvania. And this is my grandson Henry right here. And if you can see, he's watching me on his TV. And he went over and gave Grammy a big kiss. Um, so I think he was enjoying the book I was reading to him that night. So uh, they're reading these every night, and I hope you are too. And listening to them, I guess I should say, and reading along with me. And uh, so tonight, we're going to do another book that I just got from the library today. Tuesday's my day to go to the library in my town. Some girlfriends of mine and I go to the library each week, and we really enjoy that. So the book that I got for you today is called The Biggest Snowball of All. And this is a pretty neat series that I found today. Um, I actually went to two libraries today. One in my little town and one in the little town that's about 15 minutes away from me. And they had this whole set of books. And I'm going to try to read them to you off and on. Um, and uh, they have a bunch of different um, subjects that are involved in with their books. Like language arts and science and creative arts and health and math. And it shows all those on the back of the book. In this book that we're reading, The Biggest Snowball of All, is falls under math. So this must have something to do with math. And it says down here, in very little writing, that this is a book about sizes. So if you look here, and in the upper corner, it says that this is a Magic Castle Reader. Okay? The biggest snowball of all. And this is done by the author Moncure is the name of the author. I think it's Jane Belk Moncure. And it's the biggest snowball of all. And I want to read you a little something it that was inside of this book. I had never seen this in a book before. But I just want to read what it says in the inside of this little book. Okay, and I thought it was pretty nice to know and maybe mommy and daddy or or Grammy or whoever's watching you is there they might enjoy hearing this this too. It says do you know a library is a magic castle with many word windows in it. What is a word window? If you answered a book you're right. A book is a word window because the words and the pictures that tell about the words let you look and see many things. Books are your window to the wide, wide world around you. And I thought that was a really interesting little thing. That all these books, it helps us to see other things in the world. And that was just on the inside of this little book. It's not part of the story, but it was just a little something for me to read in the inside of this book. And then, this is about this whole series. Remember I told you this is a series? And a series is when there's not just one book about something. It's when there's several books. And you read them all to get all the information that they're bringing to you. And inside this... The uh, it says about the library, the magic castle. I'm going to read you this page right in here. Okay, and what it says the library, a magic castle. 
come to the magic castle when you are growing tall. Rows upon rows of word windows line every single wall. They reach up high, as high as the sky, and you want to open them all. For every time you open one, a new adventure has begun. So we're going to go on an adventure tonight with this book. And the little girl that's reading this book in the library, it says, Emily opened a word window. Here is what she read. the library and that little girl's name's Emily this is the book that she found and I found at the library today okay it says one day little bear made a tiny snowball this snowball is so small it will fit on the end of my nose she said she put the snowball on her nose and down the snowy hill she went. The snowball did not snake, excuse me, the snowball did not stay on her nose for long. It fell off and rolled down the hill. As it rolled, it grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Stop, cried Little Bear. But the snowball rolled on down the hill until it bumped into Raccoon. What a big snowball, Raccoon said. I will make, it will make a fine head for a snow bear. Good idea, said Little Bear. The two friends went right to work. They made a bigger snowball for the middle of the snow bear and another snowball for the bottom of the snow bear. It was the biggest snowball of the three. Oop, get it up here where you can see it. Then they put all three snowballs together. What a fine snow bear, they said. Just then, Rabbit came down the hill on her sled. Watch out, she cried. Here she comes. What's she gonna do? She's gonna run right into their snow bear. I've made a snowman, but never a snow bear. How about you? the right page and keep falling out of my fingers. Little Bear and Raccoon jumped away, but Rabbit bumped into the snow bear. Off rolled the snow bear's head and down the hill it went. Jump on my sled, said Rabbit. We will catch it. The three friends hopped on, the smallest in front and the biggest in the back. Away they went. See him going, chasing the snowball. When they came to the bottom of the hill, guess what they saw? The biggest snowball, snowball of all. It was so big that Little Bear said, let's build a snowball house. And 
never heard of a snowball house. They went right to work. Little Bear made a wide door so they could get inside. Raccoon and Rabbit made two narrow windows so they could peek outside. Then the three friends went inside to play. They played for a long time. While they were playing, the sun came out. The sun was hot. Guess what? What's going to happen now that the sun's hot? What do you think might happen? Yep. The biggest snowball of all began to melt. It grew smaller and smaller and even smaller. Soon the biggest snowball of all was very, very small. It was so tiny that Little Bear said, it will fit on the end of my nose, and it did. So now it's the same size that it was in the beginning. Now, at the end of this book, it says, you can read these size words with Little Bear. Let's see if we can read them together. I'll turn my book around here, and we'll zoom in a little bit, and we'll see if we can read these words together. All right, let me get them in front of me here. All right, the first word here, it says tiny, small, bigger, even bigger, and the biggest of all. Remember when I started at the beginning of this book, I said it was a book about sizes. Remember I said it said that right down here? So those are all the words about sizes. Now let's see what it says on this page. It says, now you find more size words. So this book had all kind of words about sizes in it. Do you remember when it said wide for the window? For the door and narrow for the two windows so one's wide and narrow those are sizes and then the three friends do you remember we had little bear was small okay remember and then raccoon was smaller and who was the smallest the little bunny rabbit was the smallest. So those are all about sizes. So not only would we get to read a book, but we learned something about what? A book about sizes. So that was a pretty good book. And like I said, there's a whole bunch of these books. So we will read maybe another one in a couple days. So I hope you enjoyed the book tonight, and I hope you enjoy it as much as Henry did. Good night.